Spicy, crispy twist. After the aperitif, it's time for the entree. If you have a sharp eye for detail, you may be thinking, but wait, isn't this section called before the main course? And isn't the entree the main course? If that's you, we're super impressed. But to answer your question, in France, the word entree actually means appetizer, synonymous with hors d'oeuvres. And when it comes to an entree, shrimp, or servettes reign supreme. Mm -hmm. From cheesy shrimp gratins to shrimp bisque to champagne infused butter shrimp to little shrimp canapes. These little or these airy crackers probably wouldn't be considered a true French entree. They've certainly got the ingredients of one chili, cayenne, coriander, tomato, garlic, and real shrimp. I hate tomatoes. <laughs> Sorry. So much. I love it when you bring it to someone. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, more, more, more. Do yes, something. I don't I don't need another chip. I just want to see something else. So lay that bad boy out. I want another there. Give me another one. Sorry. When you're ready. You may try your wasabi chip. Wasabi potato chips. Crunch into France's fiercest chip, if you dare. There was a certain time when this yum would have been illegal in France due to a certain ingredient. Can you guess which one? Wasabi! If you said potato, you'd be right! What? 18th century <laughs> French folk mistrusted the New World crop, thinking it caused disease. So in 1748, potatoes were outlawed. It was only when Antoine Augustine Parmentier began promoting the potato that the tide began to turn. As the story goes, he had encouraged Marie Antoinette and King Louis the Sixteenth to wear potato blossoms as accessories in order to make the potato fashionable. And it worked! Potatoes were legalized in 1772, and since then, France has come a long, long way. Now their potato trips are dangerous for a different reason. Mouth-scorching wasabi. So I think it's really funny that I guess <laughs> wasabi be at a really loud volume. And then it was not that at all. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, thank God, I was alone. <laughs> Misha, Misha, Misha. No. It's a spicy? You can spit it out. Drink your water. On the plate. No, no, no. Then it's gotta be cleaned up. No, no, no. I got ah. That's awful. It's spicy. Okay. I don't like them. All right, so thumbs up or thumbs down? I don't want them. Thumbs down? Zeke like them. You like them? Your face says otherwise, son. No! All right, hey, lay that down next to the other one. We're ready? Yep. We're ready. Yep. All right. Okay. Onion coffee and balsamic... Oh. Sorry, I just yeah. wanted to throw coffee, one. Coffee. Onion confit and balsamic vinegar potato chips. Sautéed French onion plus mm. balsamic vinegar. Confit is no stranger to French menus. You may even come across yeah. it yourself. 
Across it. Hey. Across it, not across it. Well, it comes from the French word confire, to preserve, and refers to foods were preserved by cooking with low heat for hours on end. In medieval France, it was typically fruit cooking sugar. Hey. In Gascony, it refers mostly to duck cooked and cooled in its own fat, making it storable for years. An onion confit refers to onions slowly simmered with garlic and balsamic vinegar. The flavors are worth the patience it recommends to cook, or it requires to cook. As you'll taste these aromatic onion confit inspired chips. Ironically, we don't think these chips will last very long at all. We're ready. Garlic aioli potato chips. Garlic lovers, this yum is the perfect relationship. Oh, I can't eat this. I'm a vampire. If it's a special occasion in Provence, you'll surely smell one thing. Garlic. Lots and lots of garlic. That's because everyone will be eating aioli, the okay, local garlic and oil dip. It's ordinarily reserved for Fridays when it's served with boiled veggies like green beans, carrots, and potatoes. When Ash Wednesday comes around, aioli is served with poached cod. And on Christmas Eve, it's snails that typically get the dipping. Your invitation to province pungent tradition? These rigid potato chips, which taste just like the real thing, but with no dipping required. Yes, you'll get garlic breath, and yes, it will be worth it. No, it won't. No. No. You? Oh, ew. You are disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like them, Dad? I, like I love them. I hate them. I like garlic. Like, I don't know what to love. Loose is fine. Ew! It smells I like garlic. So, thumbs up or thumbs down? Mm. Is that right? Is that right? Hold on. French cheese tubes. French cheeses are better, and so are their cheese snacks. How can you govern a country which has 246 varieties of cheese? These words were famously spoken by France's former president, Charles de Gilles, who served from 1958 to 1962. And France's cheese obsession has only grown since then. Today there are a whopping 1,600 varieties of fromage. From soft, creamy camembert to tangy roquefort to casco merzu. A Corsican cheese, infamous for containing live worms. You can see why locals eat 60 pounds of cheese per year, unless you're still caught up on the worm thing. But don't worry, there are no worms to be found in these zesty tubes, just a whole lot of cheesy flavor. <laughs> Mom's been looking you the whole time. Wait, wait, what? I don't like them! No! Thumbs I down! All the way down! Yeah, that tastes kind of like feet. It doesn't taste very cheesy. It's more like a corn. Yeah. It does say corn in the name, dude. Is anybody want one? No. What is it called? Mom, corn that's right. It does say snack? corn. Cheesy yeah. flavor. Yeah, cheesy flavor. Corn snack. But I ain't got no cheesy flavor. If you have a cinnamon flavor, uh, like, I don't know, pear, it's going to taste mostly pear and a little bit like cinnamon. Who's with my garlic? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can try Yeah, I actually want you ready? Yeah. Am I good to go? Yep, you're good. Oh. Cocoa dusted truffle bar. Four French truffles and one uber decadent bar. According to legend, this yum came about by accident. In 1920s Paris, confectioner Augustine Escoffier was making a pastry cream when he accidentally poured hot cream into the wrong bowl. A bowl filled with chocolate. Rather than bidding the melty chocolate adieu, he experimented. Realizing the paste, called ganache, could be molded, he rolled it into balls and coated them in cocoa powder. The result? A luxurious chocolate ball that looks a whole lot like France's mushroom truffles. Hence the name. We can't think of a more decadent accident, except maybe devouring all four of the truffles in this bar before anybody else can. <laughs> <laughs>
You said chocolate balls, and I just ran with it. <laughs> balls. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Dark chocolate shortbread palettes. Dark cocoa and butter make for one tasty French puck. When you hear the word puck, what do you think of? Probably hockey. But this mm -hmm. yum might just change that. Its name is derived from a game which arose in 14th century Brittany, in which players tossed a little stone disc called Le Palais, or Puck, onto a flat square, with the goal of landing it near the other Palais. These buttery shortbreads arose in Brittany after the game became popular, and it only takes a quick glance at their shape to see why they're also dubbed Le Palais. But let's be clear. These crumbly cocoa discs should not be tossed anywhere, except your mouth, of course. What? <laughs> good. Can you hand that back to me? It's good. Was that all that was in the box? Good. That looks like it's made for us. Oh, that is very good. Are you eating your cookie? Mmm. Mmm. Is it yummy? Mmm. Too fresh. Taste the cookie. You what? Those are little waffles. Poppy seed and black pepper waffles. Say hello to the small, savory waffles you've been missing. We have shocking news. Are you sitting down? Okay, here goes. In France, people don't really snack. <gasps> we know. Sounds crazy, right? But let's be clear. The French still enjoy munching on chips, crisps, and crackers. They just save them for pre-dinner course called apertif. Locals gather for a casual conversation, a glass of wine, and a savory snack designed to wet the palate for the meal to come. Like these gaffret aperitifs. Crispy and light, they certainly awaken our appetite. It's good they come in this cute little bag, or they might just spoil the main course. Those are good. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up. That was really good. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever one? Has that like every single thing? Yeah. Me? That was good. No. I, want, I, want I don't think you care much for that chocolate. I like you every one. single thing. I didn't like the wasabi things. I didn't like these. Eh, I wasn't a big fan of these. Mm -hmm. I want more Good. There's more in there. Oh, like... What? Mm -hmm. What it is? Yeah! It looks like a cuttlefish thing. Apricot and vanilla macaroon cookies. France's famous cookie and its most fragrant flavor yet. You're about, you're about to try one of France's most iconic specialties. Holy belly buttons. Not joking. The story begins in 8th century uh -huh. Italian monasteries where monks first baked these cookies from a simple dough of sugar, almond flour, and egg whites. Their flat, rounded shape earned them the nickname Priest's Belly Button. It was in, in 1533 Help. when Italian Help. Catholic de Medici Help. married Help. French Help. King Henry II and brought Help. the cookies to France where they were renamed Macaroon, meaning fine dough. We think the rebrand had a lot to do with the crispy cookies' explosive success in France. Either way, still feel free to shout holy Brandy. belly buttons after your first bite of this decadent apricot treat. Yummy? Dip and dip and dip. My favorite is still either, which is torn between those waffle things and those uh, first one, the sweet chili shrimpy thingy. I like those. I like those. These. You don't like the garlic things? Oh, we're just talking about top favorites? Oh, okay. You! That is my most favorite. All of it. No, not all of it. You like cookies. Pure Butter Sables, the butter biscuits that have made the French swoon since 1888. Freeze before you fry these famous French shortbread. You should know the main ingredient is sand. We know, let us explain. Sables are centuries old cookies made by rubbing cold 
butter into flour and sugar and form tiny particles in dough. Given the dough's striking resemblance to sand, these golden breadcrumbs come to be called sables, the French word for sand. So yes, these delightful cookies are made from sand, but it's not the beaches of French Riviera kind. They're very buttery and very edible kind. Now if you're wondering, it's time to try them for yourself. The answer is go! <laughs> Dad, you sound like one of those movies. Wow. I know I said speed up a little bit. <laughs> you didn't even Emphasis give me enough time to finish bit, my cookie. Oh, okay. Give me another cookie. Now slow down and add a little bit more flair. Give me a cookie. Give me another 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 Crispy almond cookies, a specialty of France. Before you keep reading, go ahead and take a bite of one of these almond cookies. Once you've had your taste, we have to ask, is it just us? Or is this cookie the pitch perfect balance of sweetness and nuttiness? It is not light and airy, yet satisfying and crisp. If you answered yes to these questions, the following fact might shock you. It's only made with four ingredients. Yup. Sugar, almonds, flour, and egg whites. That's it. No wonder these tiny medieval village of Cord Circeo, perched in the Pyrenees Mountains, safeguarding the recipe. If you figure it out, please let us know. We're not kidding. But in the meantime, savor the miracle cookie while you can. Almonds. Pretty good. Those are really good. Thumbs up or thumbs down? It was sweet. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Do you like it? Is it yummy? Take a bite. You're done. Your dad just got another one. Ramsey. <coughs> Apple caramel cookies made by the famous bakers of La Mer Poillard. With the newest specialty of La Mer Poillard, the name may not mean anything to you yet. Dude, take a bite. It tastes like a caramel. Apple. But it's iconic in France. It's what Annette Boutant and Victor Poillard called their new restaurant on the idyllic island of Le Mont Saint Michel back on 1888. Yeah, Fueled by reviews of their humongous fire-roasted omelet, word of the establishment spread like wildfire, drawing in everyone from designer Yez Saint Laurent to writer Ernest Hemingway. The now $80 omelet wouldn't fit in your box, not even the super young. So we brought you another one of the eatery's specialties, a wintry apple caramel butter biscuit. What do you think? Is this La Mier Polaire's next big breakthrough? 47% dark chocolate with sea salt. Smooth cocoa flecked with French fleur de sel. Flowers on V-Day, overrated, but fleur de sel, swoon. Fleur de sel is the so-called caviar of sea salt. Formed when seawater evaporates and leaves behind delicate salt flowers. Trained workers called pierriers use special wooden rakes called liers of fleurs to collect them. Since even the most productive salt marshes only produce two pounds per day, the process is slow and expensive, but worth it. Since mineral-rich fleur de sale is longer lasting and saltier than ordinary salts, when blended with decadent dark chocolate, it makes for a chocolate experience unlike any other, as you are about to find out. Best flowers ever. Okay, that was really salty. Thumbs up or thumbs down for that chocolate. That's just yeah. one more thing. That's between salty and it's not in the box. It's right there. Oh, two more things. Yeah. You want to buy this? Hey. Oh, stop it. I just stop it. I just stop it. And then? Yes, I saw the oh, word no, strawberry. I'm going to try reading it before I get it. Do you want me to? Say that one. French strawberry chews Our customers juicy chewy favorite from France love strawberries you have France to thank French royals were the first to farm the fruit back in the 14th century with King Charles V boasting the 1200 strawberry plants in his garden Then in the late 18th century it was also France that crossed two world strains 
the Virginia strawberry and the Chilean white strawberry to create the modern strawberry the whole world knows and loves today. But don't say merci just yet. We've got one more French strawberry innovation to be thankful for. This yum, the uber juicy, uber chewy strawberry balls were the top voted yum in our last two France boxes. So we could think of no better way than to kick off our new France adventure. Pop one in your mouth and give it a chew, then join us in saying big merci to France. And if you feel the same way we do about this yum's box, it surely won't be the last time we say that today. What does merci mean? Thank you. Merci! Yes, you do. It's right there. Right there water. Water. We allowed to eat it? Uh-huh. Remy, get Remy his. Is it gum? No. I know why. Good. That's so good. You want another one? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I do. I know. Heidi, have any? What do you have? I got two. I got two. It feels like gum. It feels like, um... But how about bubblegum? Yeah. Woo! I put it in my mouth already, but... It's two connected oh, together. Oh! oh I'll take another one. Focus on it. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mm -hmm. The last chips and the first car and then some candy that the set. So far, I've loved everything. The last thing. I think I'm going to Oh, yeah. Yep, I love that. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. 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 It wasn't that great. I don't think any of them were that great. Um, Dad and Zeke got red hair. Shara, I thought you liked Shara. Solo. Do you not want any of that? No, I want Was that fun? Yeah. So then eat them. Dad, I want to. No. Dad. I want the pink thing. Anybody want another one of these? Universal Yums has been significantly better than uh, snack, crate. snack crate. And this is the first box we've gotten from them. And that's saying a lot. Oh, no, hit the bell! Mike, Mike, and subscribe to you. Down below! <laughs>